Hi, and welcome to this week's Guided Lexio Divina. Lexio Divina is Latin for divine reading, and it is a way of being with Scripture in which we open our hearts and our minds up to God, asking God to speak to us. It's very different from a Bible study where we're trying to understand Scripture. Instead, we're simply being open to God to us in our lives at this time. How it works is I will read a brief piece of scripture a total of four times. Each time you will be asked to focus on something or think of a question related to the scripture, and then there will be two minutes of silence. Following the silence, I will read the scripture again with a different question or focus. Our reading today comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, verses 1 through 3, and then 10 and 11. As you hear this reading the first time, I invite you simply to listen and notice is there a word or a phrase that seems to beckon or call for your attention. In the quiet that follows, I invite you simply to reflect and meditate on that word or phrase. When they had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethpage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, just say this, The Lord needs them. When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds were saying, This is the prophet Jesus, from Nazareth in Galilee. Hear this reading a second time, and in the quiet that follows, I invite you to ponder, what is God saying to you through this word or phrase? How does this word or phrase speak to you in your life right now? When they had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethpage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you. And immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, just say this, the Lord needs them. When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds were saying, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee.
Hear this reading now a third time. In the quiet that follows, I invite you to consider what might God be asking you to do or to be through this word or phrase. When they had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethpage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, just say this, The Lord needs them. When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds were saying, This is the prophet, Jesus, from Nazareth in Galilee. Hear this reading one last time. In the quiet that follows, I invite you to either sit in the presence of God or offer up a prayer. When they had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethpage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, just say this, The Lord needs them. When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds were saying, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee.
Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we thank you for your presence among us and the many ways that you speak to us, teach us, guide us, and love us. As we move into this holy week, help us to open our hearts and our minds ever more fully to you, that we may see your light, hear your voice, and follow your gracious inspirations. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.